Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I had a viewer ask about adding a 2D object to a 3D object so that you could actually draw on the 3D object. So I created a quick scene with a 3D object and I'm gonna show you some different options for doing that. So hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and let's get started. So I'm in Blender and I've got my scene set up and if I turn off this background, and then if I come out of camera view, you can see this is a 3D object. So everything about this is a 3D object. So I'm gonna go back to camera view by hitting zero on my numpad. And this outline is created by this grease pencil outline object here. So one reason you may want to use a grease pencil object on a 3D object is I've got everything set up here. So if I turned him, you know, I could get that animation of his head turning without having to redraw his head each time like you would in frame to frame. But if I want to keep a cartoon look, I can add the grease pencil object to the 3D object, and then I could do mouse substitutions and things like that, uh, eye blinks, and then I could still keep that cartoony look. So the answer to how to add a grease pencil object to a 3D object is that you just need to add your 3D object. So I'm going to use a different one than the general outline. So I'm going to hit Shift A, bring up my add menu, and I'm in object mode. I want to go to grease pencil blank. So I got a new grease pencil object here. I'm going to double click on that and change that to mouth. I'm going to add another one for eyes. And you could keep all this separate via layers, but I may want to do different things with it. So I want to have each object set. So I can have a couple of different sets of eyes, a couple of different sets of mouths on their own grease pencil object. So I'll do two more, one for eyebrows and one for hair. Okay, so I'm going to click on the mouth and you can see I have one layer here and I'll just leave that as is for now. If you're gonna draw multiple mouths, like if you're gonna do a mouse substitutions, you could do a layer for each mouth, and I've got some videos on that, and I'll link that in the description below. For now, I'm just gonna leave this as is, but I would rename this to whatever mouth it's gonna be, and then I'd have multiple layers here, one for each mouth. I'm also gonna turn off use lights. I don't think they would make a difference here, but I don't want lights affecting objects in my scene because I want to have a cartoon look, so I don't need the lights to affect that. Then if I go down to materials, I have one material, and that is a stroke material. You can see that here. There is no fill on it so that'd be perfect for a mouth so you could draw it from this perspective if you wanted to but i don't like working like that i feel like uh, it's much more accurate to do it at the front of the object so i'm gonna hit one on my keyboard to come to the front and so this isn't distracting i'm gonna turn off the camera in the viewport and i'm gonna turn off the grease pencil object that's causing the outline so now you can see i'm a 3d object so if i just want to draw on this i click on my mouth grease pencil object i go up here to draw and up here at the top, you can see we have a drop down of where that stroke is going to be. So you can start drawing from the origin, the 3D cursor, the surface, or a stroke. So for this, I'm going to set the surface because I want to draw on the surface of this. And then here is the offset. So I'll show you what that means. I'll just draw a quick stroke. And that actually looks pretty good for a first try. So if I scroll around, you can see how far that is off of the object. So I'm going to go back to my front. I want to undo this. If I go back up here to the stroke placement and I change this to 0 0.01, and if I draw on it, now if I scroll around, you can see it's pretty much sitting right on top of that object. So that is how you draw on a 3D object. So you're not limited to just the draw tool. So if I go up here to eyes, but well, before I do that, let me undo this and see about drawing a better mouth. So I'm going to go to the stroke and I'm going to turn on stabilize stroke and I'll leave the default settings there and I'm just going to pull this around. Okay, that looks pretty good. Like I said, if you wanted to have multiple mouths, you could change this to smile. I could add another layer and change that to straight. I can turn the opacity of smile down to be off or you could turn it off here. So I'll go to straight and just draw a straight mouth across. Okay. So if you want to have multiple mouths, you can do layers like that. Like I said, I'll include a link in the description below about how to set up mouse substitutions for this type of thing. So in addition to drawing on this, you can also use the shape tools. So I'm going to go to the eyes. I'm going to scroll in here and I'm going to turn on wireframe so I can see kind of the grid. 
And then I've got my eyes layer selected. I'm gonna come out of object mode first, then I'll select eyes and then come back to draw mode. So now I'm gonna double click on here and change this to left eye. And you can see my material is still a stroke, but I don't want that, I want to fill. So I'm gonna turn off stroke, I'm gonna turn on fill. So even though I've got fill selected, you can see I have this transparency right here. So I'm gonna click on that, black's my current setting, but I need to turn this alpha all the way up to one. So now you can see there's no alpha there, no transparency, it's all black. So if I go over here to the circle tool, I'm gonna to select that. And up here at the top, I'm gonna to make sure pin pressure is off and I wanna make sure strength is all the way to one and that pressure is off as well because I want this to be just solid black. So if I pull out and drag on this, so you can't see it in this view. So I have to come back to my material view. Now you see we've got an eye and if I circle around here, you can see how far that is off. So I'm gonna undo that and it's switched back to the default. So I'm gonna click that and change it back to 0.01. I'm gonna draw this again. So I'm gonna click on layer, I'm gonna click the plus symbol and change that to right eye. I'm gonna draw another one. Since I can see the grid, I can kind of ballpark where the other eye should be. I'm gonna draw that. Hit okay. I'm actually gonna to go to edit mode, select that and drag it over a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to material and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna zero my numpad to come back to camera view and I'm gonna turn back on the grease pencil outline. Okay, I'm gonna turn off that outline and I wanna select eyebrows. Well, I always forget this. I need to go back to object mode, select eyebrows, go back to draw mode. I'm gonna left click on the layer and say left eyebrow. And I'm gonna add a plus symbol and say right eyebrow. If I was gonna animate this or do any kind of other manipulations of this, I would probably set this up a little differently. I'd probably have each eyebrow on its own grease pencil object. I think that just provides you more flexibility. So if I wanted to rig it or do eyebrow substitutions or things like that, I'd have more flexibility by having each object of his face on its own grease pencil object. But for this demonstration, I'll just leave it as is. So I'm gonna go back to the draw tool. I'm gonna check surface. I'm gonna change this to 0.01. I'm gonna draw that eyebrow. And that was on the wrong eye. I'm gonna click left eyebrow, draw that eyebrow. I'm gonna click right eyebrow and draw that one. I wanna draw this little piece of hair. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna turn back on my general outline and I'm gonna go to camera mode. I'm gonna turn back on my background. So I know that doesn't exactly look like Charlie Brown, but I just want to use this as an example of how to draw on a 3D object. So I could also draw, let me see, let me add um, another grease pencil object. Change that to ear. Go to draw mode. Go to surface, change this to 0 0.01. And I could, you know, draw that. Do the same over here. So this is a short video, but hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions about this process or any other comments or problems you'd like to have me kind of help with or videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.